Hello everyone, my name is Misha van Dane and welcome back to another tutorial. Now, today we're gonna talk about how to use those proxy files we previously created in our last tutorial. Now, first off, let's talk about a little bit about the sequence settings. Make sure that the sequence settings are the settings you want to export in. So make sure that your sequence settings are the settings that you'll finally use for export. Now, let's get started. I've made some uh, proxy files here so I can edit with it and we're gonna drag them onto the timeline. Now at first you will get this uh, pop-up message. The clip doesn't match the sequence settings. Change the sequence settings to match clip settings. Keep existing settings because you want the sequence to stay the same. If you don't it will change uh, the sequence settings and that will defeat the whole purpose. So keep the existing settings. Now what you see now is that the footage is smaller than the sequence window really is. To counteract that so you can see what you're doing, select your footage, right click on it, scale to frame size. Now you can see what you can do. Okay, once you're done editing, we're gonna replace these proxy files with the real files. So we can start color grading, adding effects, twitch string, you name it. Now to do that, select all of your source footage right click on it and click make media offline now the question pops up media files remain on disk or media files are deleted click remain on disk because you don't want those files to be gone once you're done click OK now the cuts are still here but you see no video that's because we and links our cuts from the source video. Now on to the next step right click again on the selected source footage and click link media. Go to the real footage and click the very first one. Now um, before we proceed I have to explain something. When you make your proxy files make sure the naming and the extension are exactly the same as your source main footage. If you don't, this will not work and you have to select and link all the media one by one. And to explain a little bit more, when I made mine, the naming of the files were exactly the same, but the extension had capital letters at the end. So capital letter M, P, 4, and my proxy files were just small letters and before. Now this made the difference that it couldn't li be linked all at the same time. So I had to relink all the footage one by one. Now you don't want that. Make sure that as well as the naming as the extension are exactly the same or this won't work and you have to relink one by one. With that out of the way, click the very first one. You don't need to select them all. Just click the very first one and click select locating media and here you have it HD quality and now you can go and start color grading or whatever you want to do okay everyone that's it for this tutorial I'll see you at the next one have a nice day like and subscribe if you want to and keep up to date with the latest tutorials see ya